This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always and especially at the moment, I do hope you're well. Now, what you just saw and heard there were a few licks from the Lydian Mode Jam that I posted on Saturday. And as you can see, it's all now tabbed out in full in Guitar Pro and PDF format along with the Jam Track up on my Patreon page, link in the description. Loads of good stuff up there as well. Uh, all of the tabs for these lessons and and for these things that I do on YouTube and all manner of great stuff. But anyway, I got a, an email uh, this morning, actually, uh, while I was wondering what I was going to do a video about today. Uh, it was from uh, a viewer who was saying to me, basically, that they, they like the sound of that, but when they were looking at what my fingers were doing, it just looked like kind of normal major scale type licks and they couldn't quite get their head around what I was doing different that made it sound like the Lydian mode. So, ever want to please? Here's a quick explanation. Under five minutes, you're going to understand the Lydian mode, hopefully. Okay, anyone who's ever played a song using these three chords, E, A, and B, will know that it always kind of wants to gravitate back to that E chord. You know, a bit like this maybe. Like that. Okay, now the reason for that is because E is the tonic chord. Basically, those three chords are the three major chords in the key of E. And even if you start on um, one of the other chords, maybe the A chord, There's always that tendency for it to want to go back to ho the home chord, basically, the, the E chord. And we can mess with that a little bit, essentially. What we're going to do here is we're going to take those three chords, the E, the A, and the B, and we're going to play them all again. But this time, we're going to keep an A bass note from the open fifth string, kind of just thumping away underneath it all. So now we've got an A chord over an A bass. A B chord over an A bass. I love the sound of that one. Uh, then an E chord over an A bass. And then back to the A chord over the A bass. And here's that chord sequence I played previously when I'm going A, B, E, A. And you'll remember that previously it wanted to go back to the E chord. Not quite the case this time. Let's have a listen. A chord is now where it wants to settle. And when you do that, when you take the four chord within the key, because A is the fourth chord in the key of E, because you've got the chords of E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, B, and so on. Okay, so count up there. One, two, three, four. A is the four chord. When you re-bias a key, refocus the key onto chord four, like we just did there, you are in the Lydian mode. Okay, so that's what's going on with the Lydian mode in relation to the chord sequence. What about some lead guitar? Well, let's not forget that the chord sequence is essentially centered now around an A major chord. That is the chord that your ear now detects as being the tonality, the home chord. So, well, just use an A major pentatonic. There. 
There you go. Simple A major pentatonic. What if you want to sound a little bit more Lydian mode with your uh, lead guitar? Well, just have a look at the chords. Okay, we've got a B chord. Play it there this time. That B chord has a D sharp note in it. Uh, you've got an E chord. That E chord has a G sharp note in it. So add in some D sharps and G sharps to your A major pentatonic. Look like this. And that's a scale fingering for the Lydian mode. How easy is that? And then just do the same thing with you, with your remaining pentatonic patterns. And you can play the Lydian mode all the way up the neck over the top of that uh, chord sequence. And suddenly you know how to play modes. So there you go. That's what's basically going on uh, with the Lydian mode in that solo that I played. And it seems that I'm not the only one who's been busy beavering away over the weekend. A good mate of mine, uh, Steve Hoggett, uh, university lecturer, studio owner and bass player extraordinaire, has, uh, when well, he got in touch with me and said, um, if ever you're doing any of these recording projects, bounce one over to me and uh, I'll remix it for you, see what you think. And he's done a fantastic job of that very jam from uh, Saturday. So what I've done is I put that downstairs in the uh, description box as a free download to anybody who wants a copy of it. Uh, just check it out. I'll also put a link to Steve's website where you can learn a little bit more about about him and the the kind of um, you know bass playing Jedi that he is. Although he de he denies it, uh, he doesn't say he's a Jedi. He just calls himself all uh, all thud and blunder, which is <laughs> is exactly like Steve. Uh, and while we're on the subject of plugging things, uh, there's one of my viewers has got in touch and said, uh, "Would I give his band a plug?" Of course I will. Normally I would say go out and see them live, but obviously you can't do that at the moment. So what I've done is linked to them again downstairs in the description box they're called the screaming butterflies and i've linked to a bunch of their songs down there check them out well worth a listen uh, well worth a few minutes of your time and then when all of this uh, current situation is over maybe you might go and see them live might be worth that uh, might be worth a night out and that's pretty much it for today folks i'll just mention of course as always that there is a fret zealot giveaway going on at the moment to celebrate two of my courses making the modes easy and play lead guitar the easy way now being available on the fret zealot app um i'm sure you know what the fret zealot is it's that little led strip thing that uh, goes on your guitar and lights up and tells you where to put your fingers to play all manner of wonderful stuff including uh, a couple of my courses to celebrate the fact we're giving a fret zealot away in order to be in with a chance of winning the free fret zealot make a donation of five pounds or more to zoe's place baby hospice which is a fantastic charity in middlesbrough that does all kinds of fantastic work with very very seriously ill uh, young children uh, make your donation to them screenshot the receipt uh, send it to me at this email address jrguitartuition at gmail.com and you're entered into the draw which will be getting drawn on the 7th of May and I will announce the winner soon thereafter and if you're not lucky enough to win never fear you can get one a little bit cheaper you can get a fret zealot a little bit cheaper thanks to me just use the discount code on screen that you can see there John Robson 20 use the link in the description to make your purchase that discount code you'll get a little bit of money knocked off you're welcome and that's really pretty much it for today folks um, I've got to crack on because I've got a lesson in half an hour and uh, I'll just mention as well, as always, uh, the Friday live stream, 5pm UK time on Friday. I hope you can join me for a beer and a chat and a laugh and a natter. It's always great fun. I enjoy it immensely. And a lot of people also seem to as well, which is really rather nice. And um, yeah, that's it for today, folks. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time around. Stay well, folks. Bye for now.